everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. If you've watched some of my videos where you've seen me on the ice, you may have noticed that I have this thing around my neck. This is a voice amplifier. Now, the company that makes these, Winbridge, reached out to me. They must have noticed that I use them at the ice rink. Asked me if I wanted a new one, and I said yes. So, I've replaced this one. I don't know if you can see, it's pretty scratched up. I've been using this for over a year now. It has served me well, it still works. Let me turn it on and see if you can see. It makes that music when it turns on. So this is how loud this thing is. I don't know if you can tell on the video, but it's not even like right up to my mouth. It's meant, of course, to go like this. And the reason I don't wear it like this is because it starts to bother me. I have two masks on when I'm wearing this thing. And to be honest, <laughs> it's very difficult for the skaters that I'm coaching to hear me on the ice. So that's why I wear this because my voice is all muffled and a lot of coaches pull their masks down. I don't do that. Once my mask is on, my N95 and my UA Sport mask, once they're on, they stay on. They do not come off or anything. I don't eat or drink or anything in the rink. And if I need to change my mask, I leave the rink, go out to my car and do it outside before I come back in. So I'm pretty serious about this mask wearing. And if you're one of my skaters or one of their parents or anybody that I work with, you know that I'm pretty serious about my mask wearing. So I'm gonna shut this off. It makes that cool noise. When we had to start wearing masks, I started using this. I actually found this on Amazon. I was looking for a solution and I was thinking I would use like a bullhorn or something. And then I found these and it's amazing because I just wear this around like a purse with the headset. I've been doing it for a year and it doesn't thro throw me off on the ice or anything. I highly recommend that if you're a teacher, a coach, a trainer, and your students have trouble hearing you with the mask on, get yourself one of these. Now I'm gonna show you the new one I just got. They're both rechargeable by the way, which is awesome. And they do have some with wireless headsets. I just don't want it to interfere with the, uh, the rink PA system because we play music overhead through the rink system. Because you're playing dance. music. I prefer to use the wired ones, and the wired ones are a little bit cheaper too. And it's easy to replace the headset. I actually did that with the other one, I replaced the headset. So now I'm gonna show you this one. This one actually has a reversible headset, so you can do it to your right or your left. I always wear it so it comes out of the right because that's how this one was, and it was not adjustable. I just got used to it there. I continue to wear this one the same way. Now this one felt a little heavier to me when I got it, but you know what? It doesn't feel heavier once you're wearing it across your shoulder. So they're both pretty lightweight. I'm gonna turn this one on. Bluetooth is waiting for a connection. Yeah, it always says Bluetooth is waiting for a connection. This is the new one. I don't know that it's much better than the old one. Audio wise, I think, Audio quality is pretty good, but I will tell you this about this. It doesn't feed back. I mean, there's a warning on it that says it will feed back if you get the microphone too close to the unit, but I have not had that problem. I had that problem a lot with the original one, and I have Mr. Sketch markers, and I use them to mark shapes on the ice for my skaters to follow a pattern. And every time I got down on the ice and got the microphone near this, I got feedback. And at one of the rinks, I would also get feedback when I got too close to a wall. It must have something to do with the metal in the dasher boards. In one of the rinks, I would get feedback with the old one. That's not happening with this one. That's awesome. Now I'm gonna tell you, do you want me to keep this on? Let <laughs> me shut it off. That's the pretty little happy sound. People are like, why are you playing music? Well, I don't exactly know why. It, I don't feel like it needs that. 
They're both rechargeable, and I'm looking at the website now so that I can tell you. It's a lithium ion battery. It says it takes three to five hours to charge, but I don't know that it's ever taken five hours to charge. It takes a couple hours. And voice amplifying time is 10 to 12 hours. That is absolutely true on the new one. And the old one said that it was 10 to 12 hours as well recently started only lasting me about five hours, which is still pretty good. There is one other difference. To recharge this one, it comes with a plug and you have to plug it into the wall. That's different than this first one that I had because this was a USB and I could just plug it in with a USB and that was really convenient. Going from one rank to another rank, I could just plug this thing in in my car and that was Pretty incredible. This one is a little bit bigger. This one's a little smaller. This is the portable voice amplifier and the wireless headset version is $99 on the website now. It says that it's full price is $169. And this one is the voice amplifier M800. And I paid about $50 for this on Amazon, but the wireless version on the website is $99 and $129 is full price. Those prices can change. Those are just the prices as I'm looking at this right now. One thing about this one, the fasteners on this strap kept coming undone and I would actually lose the unit. So we wrapped some electrical tape around them and that's been there for about 11 months and it's worked really, really well. The new one, I'm not seeming to have that problem at all. I guess that they're much heavier duty. I mean, I'm happy with this. It says that the sound distance is 35 meters or 10,000 square feet for small and medium rooms of 80 to 200 people. Now I'm in much larger room than that and it works pretty well. I can actually use it to communicate with the skater all the way at the other end of the rink. Come here, Kate and both of these are waterproof and that's what I meant to say earlier, why I got the models that I got because they're waterproofed and I'm in an ice rink. So that's kind of important. Anyway, if you're in a situation where you are wearing a mask indoors or even outdoors and need to amplify your voice to communicate with people, these are amazing and highly recommended. I have links to them in the description down below. I don't have any discounts or anything for you on them, but there are links down below where you can get them and I, it's not even an affiliate link. I don't make anything off of these at all. So I was using the first one and then the company reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try a different one and do a review. And I don't get anything out of this except for this new unit. I will tell you this, that even after the masks, I'm probably gonna keep using this at the rinks because I don't need to shout. And that's pretty wonderful. So I highly recommend these voice amplifiers from Winbridge. Again, there's links in the description down below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you think it could help someone else, share it with them and just post it to your social media too. And remember, I post at least three videos a week that can help you live a better life. So remember to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss a video. This is Amy. Thank you for watching. I will see you real soon. Bye.